I mean, you you search it. <laughs> oh, hello. Are you are you, are you Chewbacca? <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Premier Gal here. Today I'm going to be telling you about the free stock photo sites that I use to get content for my social media graphics and my videos. And all of these sites that I'm about to tell you have a CC0 license, which is a Creative Commons Zero license, which essentially the artists, the photographers, whoever created that piece of art is dedicating it to the public domain so you can use it however you like. So my first most recommended site for getting stock photos is unsplash.com. Their quality of their photos is absolutely phenomenal. You really get true artistic work there and they have basically anything that you need. If you're looking for the northern lights, you know, you search for that, you can get heaps of wonderful photos. You know, it also has the ability for the people that are uploading their photos to have their own profile and you can find them and you can follow their work. You can create collections as an author and people can like the photo. So it really has a great community. They also have a Slack channel where you can meet up and meet other photographers that are on Unsplash. Um, they also have an Unsplash Instant Chrome extension. So if you um, use Chrome and you install the extension, every time you make a new tab, it randomly fills up that browser with a beautiful image from Unsplash. So it's another way to sort of engage with the community. And my second favorite site for free stock photos is Picnoy. And maybe you haven't heard of this, it's not as quite as known as Unsplash, but essentially the mission is to bring more people of color into images. A lot of times there's not a lot of representation in our photos and if you're looking for photos that represent you and your diverse neighborhood and your community, then go to Picnoy. You can also upload your own photos there and they're all free to use. So go ahead and check out Picnoy. My third favorite site for free stock photos is Pexels. And Pexels has great metadata. When you search on the site, you can um, click on the photo and it'll show you who took the photo, where it was located, um, the camera details. It also gives you, and this is my favorite part, a color palette of that photo. It actually identifies what colors are used in that photo. And if you click on one of the colors from the palette, it'll populate an entire collection of photos based on that color. So if you're looking for multiple colors that match that palette, you can find them and it's a wonderful feature to have. Uh, Pexels also has a free plugin that you can use in Photoshop, which is fantastic. So if you're making your graphics inside of Photoshop, it's actually a panel that pulls up and you can search for photos within Photoshop. And Pexels also has free stock videos as well. And I did not know this. I actually had to click around a little bit. And I was like, what, you have stock videos as well? Could you get any more awesome? And so I think that Pexels, if you're watching this, you should definitely get a panel for Premiere Pro and for After Effects for us video producers if we're looking for um, stock video to use in our videos. And my fourth favorite stock photo site is Pixabay. Pixabay actually has vectors illustration, photos, and videos for you to search for, and they're all under that CC0 license. Um, one of my favorite features about Pixabay is you can actually search by camera model. And so if you pull up the camera model page, you can click on your favorite camera or maybe a particular camera that you're interested in, and it will pull up all of the photos that were taken by that camera in their collection. They even have a profile for the iPhone 6, so it's pretty cool to compare the different um, styles that are produced from the different cameras. And uh, I believe that Pixabay is working on a mobile app right now. Um, I think they posted the, about it about six months ago. So um, definitely keep an eye out for their mobile app that will be coming soon. And my fifth favorite stock photo site is rawpixel.com. And rawpixel is fairly new, so you may not have heard of them before but it's the same model as the other sites. Uh, they also have some graphics illustrations in addition to their photos. It's a growing community, um, so definitely go check out their team page, their about page, and see how you can get involved with them. And my sixth favorite stock photo site is MMT, which actually is short for Moment, and it was created by a UX designer who is based in New York. His name is Jeffrey Betts, and he has a passion for photography. 
and he created this lovely site where he took all these photos. A lot of them are of flowers, of nature, and they're all free under the CC0 license. So I encourage you to go check out Jeffrey's site. Um, so thank you, Jeffrey, for sharing your photography with us. And lastly, but certainly not least, I use the Google search tool. So all you need to do is search for whatever category you're looking for, let's say zebras. And then under tools, you just need to select that you wanna find images that are labeled for reuse. And that means that you can reuse them even for commercial use in your photos and your projects and your videos. So I definitely encourage you to go check out Google Image Search. And so those are the tools that I use um, to find images to use in my videos and my, in my graphics. And I encourage you to check them out. So that's all I have today. Be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.